and so you want to automate your post you don't have enough time to do all the posting and you're maybe you have a job like me you're working so you're like when can I have the time to post what if I told you you could automate posting using there's lots of tools out there we're going to talk about a tool called buffer today it's a tool that lets you automate on Facebook um, on LinkedIn on Instagram and on Pinterest and Twitter and Twitter and it lets you do that by scheduling posts ahead of time there's different ways to do it so we're going to show you how to do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so I use a few different tools to automate some of my posting now I'm not saying automation is better it is not better don't don't forget that the best way for you to get the proper engagement is using manual posting when you're posting yourself on your social media that's the best way but you know we don't all have the time to do that plus if you're trying to get on multiple platforms posting on each platform at the right time becomes really hard to do especially if you have a life right a life a job if you have other things going on so we're going to show you how to do that with buffer now we're going to talk about other tools potentially in other episodes and today it's all about buffer now if you haven't heard about buffer buffer is a tool that lets you automate things on social media on different platforms on schedules you can post you can add something to your to your uh buffer queue to your queue and then you can schedule it to go to one or multiple social media platform social media destinations right the destinations are your Facebook groups your Facebook uh, pages your LinkedIn uh, your LinkedIn uh, profile your LinkedIn pages Instagram and also on Twitter right so how does that work so let's just show you so first when you go to buffer you're going to see a page like this right you're going to see a page where it just kind of tells you what buffer is all about you know what is this uh what it gets you gets you do obviously they're trying to sell it there you have a they have a free plan and a paid well they don't actually have a free plan no they don't but they do have a 14 day free trial and you can cancel any time I've been using it for like it's 10 bucks a, mo a month not even I think it's like 100 bucks a year or something like that so I've been using it for years and um but I don't really keep it updated all the time I don't always keep my queue set up all right so let's go right into it so if you're by the way if you're hearing this on a podcast and you want to see what all this is about go to cis224 cis224.jsgangon.com and um cis224 yeah that's right cis224.jsgagnon.com that's j-s-g-a-g-n-o-n all right so go to there to go check out the video and the and the blog post to see the whole thing and see how this all works in action all right so now let's get right to it we're going to log in I have an account obviously already whenever you uh, first set up your account you can actually set up using Facebook or other other mechanisms to log in uh, I just set up with Facebook at the time it's pretty easy so all right so the first thing you want to do um is you want to set up your um social accounts right so under here I'm trying to remember because it had been done this a while ago yeah so down the bottom you're gonna see there's a managed social account when you first go in here I don't actually remember if you end up with something set up because if you set up your account using uh Facebook right I'm not sure if it'll know about your Facebook account or if you have to set up but anyways when you go to manage social accounts it lets you choose different accounts so right now it's disconnected from everything because I haven't used it in a while but if I just reconnect right here uh because my password changed uh let's see what's my what's my new password is it gonna have it here for me uh Facebook let's see if that works no that's not the right password 
I don't know why it's not saved uh I should have checked that I guess before but I didn't want it didn't want to let me just uh, go in here get that so that's a crazy password I have in here let me go get that password out in this account over here I forgot that I had set up this crazy password so I have to go get that here sorry about that I should have but you know that's kind of how that that's kind of what happens right we get into these situations where th there we go let's put that in here that's hoping hoping that works looks like it's working waiting for buffer it says and there we go so we're logged in and we're there so nice you've been reconnected update I want to update that let's put update that there we go all right so uh now he's saying Instagram is disconnected and and this is the same thing if I go back to my social accounts right here all of them are disconnected because I haven't used it in a while um it's why is it saying it should be connected now so you see LinkedIn so let's just uh, make sure he reconnects everything he's all good let's just reconnect all these uh, I can continue so I'm just going to reconnect so that's the first thing you got to do you got to connect your accounts and <clears throat> I think that's the right password there we go good stuff uh return so am I all connected now all been reconnected they're all connected I got these buffers okay so so the way it works in a uh, buffer is that you uh, can create posts like say for example I'm in here I just want to say uh doing doing um episode number two <laughs> two two four I believe right is it let's just uh, make sure I see oh yeah there you see two two four doing episode two two four of course income secrets so now you can just post a text like this and you can ch then you choose where you want to post it to so I'm going to say all oh, right Instagram wants a picture I can post to all these things actually you can't post with more than one uh, Twitter at the same time and on Pinterest you gotta choose a board right so let's just say well on Pinterest you need an image recent changes with Twitter you only post a one-time Twitter profile you're only posting to yeah so you can actually post to multiple Twitters but you'd have to do more than one post right so let's just do this and let's do the Instagram the Instagram doesn't have a picture so you, it won't let me post on here right it wants a pitch an image right or a video on Instagram but we'll show you it in a second so let's just say I'm posting something like this right um and let's uh here's one of the tricks though right uh whenever you're whenever you're creating your post on a buffer you want to create it with only one or no no selections here right uh and then and the reason why you want to do that is because if I if I select multiple ones here Facebook is all the same but if I select as you can see there's two it says one and then I click the other it says two LinkedIn right and so as you can see the same text is showing up in all these but now if I go like this Facebook how is it going right if I do that whoops you see that the other ones don't have that I can say how my Twitter fans and then I can go here and say how my LinkedIn connections right so you can do something different for each of them right as you can see they're different they're they have different ones but if I unselect these and I end up with just the Facebook one right now I if I select I don't know if you'll remember them or not yeah so you won't so this is so what happens is now once you've gotten your post ready now you can click all the other ones and they'll all have the exact same text right see how it says how's Facebook and the LinkedIn right now 
how's it going Facebook and the Twitter one so uh, I you usually you know if I want to post the same thing everywhere obviously I I would do that like this and I would just get that ready uh read the blog at http cis 224jsgagnoncom so I'm going to post that just for fun right doing episode of course income secrets uh, all about buffer so the link is converted to a uh, to uh, I don't want to shorten it so let's get that out of there because the right now as I'm recording this that episode is not on my blog right so that means that the default goes to my actual blog page instead of the, an episode page but I'm going to leave it with this link <coughs> I don't know why it's got the I don't want the I don't want to shorten it but anyways um and now I'm going to post it well it's it's well here I'll show you so I'm going to add it to the queue so the idea with buffer is that you have this queue of posts and you can you can create like 10 20 100 uh posts in this queue and then and then you just schedule it you schedule the queue right I'll show you how that works but let's just create this one I can actually add the queue or I can share now if I want right so let's do a share now uh over here let's do a share now instead and I'll show you the add to queue later right <coughs> uh once actually let's do that let's un, let's fix that uh, let's make it a real you know post that makes sense uh doing episode 224 and all about buffer and posting whoops what happened here I pressed p and posting and posting right now once the uh, blog blog post is up later today you can read the blog and watch and watch the full video at all right so that's so now this is because you know I'm going to post that right now and that that link doesn't work yet or at least it goes to my blog page um but yeah so I'm going to post it you'll see what happens uh, there you go okay so I'm going to post share now right so now it's actually posting right now to my if I go for example to my uh LinkedIn or I go to my Twitter or I go to my Facebook <clears throat> so I go to LinkedIn and I go to my uh, posts right I can go under here go to my post and activity and I can see that posts maybe it's not there yet yeah it's not there yet I guess it takes a moment to show up let's see if it's on Twitter under my profile yeah see on Twitter it's right there already right doing episode 224 all about and then of course the link uh goes straight to my site here I don't know if uh, it'll fix uh, I don't know if it'll work afterwards but we'll see and on Facebook if I go to my uh, page on Facebook how do you get to pages pages <coughs> oh there you go see right here post it to a group this will work later right all about buffer and posting right now okay so that's there so as you can see it posted right away okay so now I want to that's not really what I want to use I mean you can use it for that if you want right you can post to multiple places at the same time but what I really use it for is uh scheduling ahead <laughs> ahead of time so if you look at for example this queue here has got a hundred your buffer doesn't have permission to post on your behalf that must be because I something happened to my queue so must have been oh right it was before okay so let's just go in here see one of the things I like one of the things I really like about buffer is that on Instagram it lets you automate in a certain way it doesn't it won't post for you because there's rules against Instagram automatic posting but it'll prompt you in a, an app on your phone you install the app on your phone and then whenever it's time to post you'll get a notification saying it's it's time to post and then that you click a few buttons and it does the post for you so you don't have to do it right then and there you can do it an hour later doesn't really matter but it allows you to post because it prepares an image it prepares the text it copies it to your buffer so you just have to click a few buttons and you're basically posting right so that's how buffer works right 
um okay so how do I add things to the queue what I add to the queue I just go here and then I add an image uh let's just say I actually have let's see it's been a while but I have uh, where is it code images right here so I have this one here let's just do this one and I like so first as you can see the only thing that's selected right now is Instagram right nothing else so I'm going to say here this image says like branches on a tree all grow different directions uh, yet our roots remain as one <laughs> so uh, what direction are you growing in I'm going up 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 and away okay so I'm just going to create this just for fun and I'm going to add it to my Facebook this is a Facebook group see Facebook mastermind group this is a Facebook page course income secrets page this is my LinkedIn page my LinkedIn profile and my Twitter okay so now as you can see they're all the same right and they're also all going to have the same image right okay so now I just add to queue uh all right my Instagram one is let's not worry about that let's uh, uncheck this one my page okay whoops there you go just add the queue oh growing grow growing I missed a w right did that work it's not working that's because I have oh it is there okay so they, they did add them uh we add so I can do this to the ones that aren't in there these ones failed so I'm just going to re-add them to the queue there might, I wonder if there's a way to re-add everything well there's only 17 I suppose well there you go so they're all in the queue these are just ones I added before right uh under here I have eight and do the same thing so now this is stuff that isn't uh, really what I wanted to talk about but I it'll kind of allow us to see we'll see so I re-added these to the queue uh under here <coughs> I have only one okay so I can actually so there uh, that's there perfect right, let's add a few more okay so then I can go here and let's just forget about this uh grow in well, anyways it doesn't really matter because now it's okay so let's just cancel this okay I just have the one here Instagram let's go into Instagram okay so uh, what's going on here can I get rid of this okay anyways let's do Instagram again there's something going on this is messed up let me reload the let me reload the page I don't know what's going on it's kind of weird <clears throat> okay so um uh share something okay good so I don't know what was going on there I think it remembered my post that didn't work earlier uh so it was still there so let's just add another one I'm just going to click on this go find the next one and this is this is give yourself time are you forgetting this time Onward. a bit of wisdom I know I do often this is a great reminder so now the thing is that you're going to want to create a bunch of posts so right now I created this I'm going to put it on Facebook I'm going to put it on LinkedIn not my page because my page is full I believe um, and then on Twitter no oh, it's the wrong one Ugh, it's the wrong one it's not the this is my profile this is why is it failing to share 
whoops it looks like we're having trouble with a connection to LinkedIn visitor profile on buffer okay what's going on with LinkedIn my LinkedIn is not letting me reconnect okay sign in let's see what happens here if I go back to my LinkedIn and I share it sharing there you go that worked okay what about this guy it's got 101 delete this one that's already there <coughs> see these are the ones that are it looks like I have some sort of automation as well oh yeah that's right there's a there's a way to automate uh posts as well in so that things get added to your to your buffer automatically through uh, your blog or other rss feeds so I'm just re-adding these things here cleaning up stuff so um I wanted to show okay so now let's say I have let's say I've created a whole bunch of posts in my like over here I have 18 over here I have 100 so the thing is that one of the things that I find is that whenever you um add posts you're adding them and they're all going to be added in the same sequence now the thing is you want to have a schedule for your posts uh, let's add a few more in here uh it's this is my profile is it I don't know which is which though looks like it's uh this is my page my profile my page let's see if that's connected I think that's I might need to connect both I don't know I thought they were together but maybe not okay so let's just try to post something here see if that works retry now sharing that worked okay I think my adding didn't work earlier or did it so why is it just showing me like this Twenty fourth of June has been a while, right? Whoops. Okay, so now let's just go back in here and we're going to add a few things to my to this post. Let's add another one. Now the the thing the one thing I really like about buffer is that you can actually just post things. One of the things you can't do with some of the other platforms uh, is that you can't you can't okay so that's that's the page is it let's do another one here okay so I'm just, oh I didn't do that right I'm gonna add another one make 
make sure I, so when I'm adding it because I want it to be on multiple social profiles I'm going to do this like this there we go okay so that's perfect okay so um and if I add another one now as you can see they're already selected you don't want you want to unselect the other ones because if you leave them all selected it it won't it, you'll have to go to each of them to go choose the image right so I go like this uh, actually it's this one right this one so the first LinkedIn is the one I want yeah so normally what happens is when you're zero everywhere everything's fine you can select them all but because my my LinkedIn I don't know which if that's my profile I guess it's my profile has a hundred items in the queue because it wasn't able to publish them before um then that means that you can't add to it then it'll tell me all the time that I should upgrade to the, the, because the the plan I'm on right now lets me put lets you put up to a hundred items in your queue right you can't put more than that all right so now that we have some things in our queues there's a couple things you can do you go to the settings and you can go Instagram reminders yes I want a reminder so I want reminders uh as reminders if this is turned on oh is that new this means that buffer will not post directly to Instagram for you is it able to post up for you oh I don't know if it maybe that's changed now anyways okay so Google Analytics so shuffle queue so this is the part that I wanted to talk to you about so once you've got all your posts in each of the queues they're all in the same sequence which means if you set your schedule to post every day at this you know once a day for example let's say you did once a day for all of them which I'm not recommending because Twitter you might want to do five or ten times a day uh LinkedIn you might want to do once uh, every couple days or maybe just once a day Facebook you might want to do twice uh etc right different things for different posts so you don't want so but if you were to do the same post the same schedule for all your profiles which meant once a day for everything and you had all the same all, all the queues were the same they all had the same queue well you'd post the same thing everywhere right which you probably don't want you want to post different things in different places to make you know to to be to have a difference so what you do is you go to each of these <coughs> and then you go to the settings and then you say shuffle queue down here there's a shovel queue button you do that <clears throat> and you shuffle it they're mixed then I go to the other one and I shuffle this one I go to the other one I shuffle this one I shuffle this one all of my cues shuffling and then I go to the next one so now what happens is now they're all in a different order regardless of how I posted them or added them to my queue they're all a different order now so now that's one thing the other thing is the posting schedule now you can set a posting schedule there used to be an automated maybe that's available to, in the paid plan but uh you choose when to post right what time do you want to post that you can clear all posting times you can set an, an everyday post you can set a certain day post <coughs> let's say that on Twitter I want to post uh you know at 9 48 p.m and I also want to post at let's say uh, 6 p.m as you can see now it's adding all that and I want to post let's say at s uh, let's say 9 a.m so I'm going to be posting at 9 a.m at 9 48 p.m and at 6 p.m so that means that my queue obviously needs a lot more items or I need to refresh it more often for for my Twitter right the other one is if I go to say my LinkedIn my schedule <clears throat> I have it every day but let's say I just do it I just wanted Monday and Thursday and Saturday uh, no Friday there so now <laughs> I'm gonna have only posting three times a week in my LinkedIn <clears throat> and on Facebook I have it posting at 5 19 p.m every day in my course income secret one I have it posting every day at 6 23 so different times time zone London Europe all that I probably want to change that to Fairfax successfully oh I didn't notice there was a time zone is it if New York oh posting schedule Halifax Halifax 
Mm -hmm. FX New York eh? LFX make it all Halifax Halifax there we go <clears throat> it's Atlanta anyways it doesn't really matter it's you you obviously you want to set your own time zone but uh yeah so now you have your your items in your queue and uh what else is there analytics queue so if I go back to the queue here I can see what I have in my queue right and what will happen is uh whenever I set it to it'll start posting those things on my on my news feed on my Facebook on my LinkedIn on my Twitter and I can set up Pinterest as well I haven't because it's Pinterest is well it requires a every time every single time you add an item to your queue you gotta specify a board so for me it's it's just it takes extra time and I'm not too worried about it maybe I should have a post on there but and on Instagram well it's going to say see it'll receive a reminder today at 9 35 so that's in a few minutes I guess or whenever uh, today uh, but uh, yeah so that's so that's how you use a buffer to post and automate some of your posts um that's pretty much it if you have any questions obviously you can reach out we're going to do another episode on other automation platforms uh, like social media jukebox like like only wire I use those ones I also I'm trying to remember the uh, IFTT as well so those are platforms I use to automate all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.